you all. This is the borough president of Manhattan, and we are here at the Manhattan Community Board 11 meeting, and the borough president, Mark Levine, 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 yeah. Levine. Yeah. okay, um, he came out with a report on mental health, and there's a couple of very interesting tidbits that I think all of you should know, and it's about long-term beds and a lot of other stuff. So, Mr. Levine. Well, I appreciate you taking a minute to talk about such an important topic, and it's a crisis out there. There are people out in the subway, in the streets, in parks, who have untreated severe mental illness, yeah. for example, schizophrenia. And the question is, why aren't they getting the treatment that they need, that they deserve? Right. And part of the reason is we have closed hundreds of inpatient psychiatric beds at hospitals all over Manhattan. We've probably lost four or 500 in recent years. So it's very hard for people who are in crisis to actually get admitted to the hospital, or perhaps they're admitted and then they're pushed out before they're really stable. So one of the key recommendations in our report is that we expand the number of inpatient psychiatric beds at places like Bellevue Hospital so that people who need the treatment can come in off the street and get it. So when you say inpatient, inpatient, how, like when they get that bed, how long can they stay? Generally, um, Two weeks is the standard time someone would remain if it's involuntary in a hospital. But there are programs for people who need longer term pre treatment. Uh -huh. There's an excellent program at the State Hospital on Randall's Island. It's a very large building that you recognize. It's like a big hundred year old giant boxy thing. You see it when you go across the Triborough Bridge. That building used to have 3,000 patients back in the 1970s. It has shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. Now there's only 400. Um, but for those that are there, it can be a great opportunity um, to get back on their feet. It is an involuntary facility, it's a secure facility, but they have a, a program there called the Transitional Housing Unit, which generally after 90 days, they get people stable again, they get them ready to have their own apartment, it's very successful. That unit only has 50 beds. So everywhere we looked, too little capacity to treat New Yorkers who are in crisis. So let me ask you, you said Port Island or Rams Island? Well, it's the same thing. So, okay. um, so is that building still there? The building's there, but it's half empty now. And we want to expand okay, the capacity. Okay, so that building used to have, you said, 3,000 3, back 3, in the 70s. So it shrunk to only 400. But the building didn't shrink. The <laughs> building is the same size. It just it's just just now. More than half. Why? Half. Because funding was not? Look, the decision was made in the 70s. I'm not saying it's your fault. <laughs> well, I, 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 I was barely you born. You weren't even born yet. I was barely born. <laughs> But the decision was made to close these kind of long-term state facilities. The conditions were very bad. The idea was to replace them with community-based service, mm -hmm. services. They only did half of that. They shut the big institutions, but never replaced it with community-based services. Mm -hmm. The result was, beginning in the 80s, people were out in the street. And we just didn't do it right. It's time to fix it. So what your proposal calls for how many new beds? So we want 240 beds at the public hospitals. Mm -hmm. We want um, another uh, approximately two or 300 beds at that state facility on Randall's. Mm -hmm. If we do that, it'll begin to make a dent mm -hmm. in the kind of untreated mental illness that we're seeing on the streets. Mm -hmm. So your proposal asks for funding for it? Yes, some from the state uh -huh. for what's happening on Randall's, some from the city because Bellevue is a city hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, by the way, want the private hospitals to expand mm -hmm. their inpatient treatment. Or the, uh, the not-for-profit hospitals. Like, they are not for like, profit. Like, like Montefiore and what's the, um, um, Mount Sinai? Yes. They're not, not for profit, but they have ads on every Yankees game. <laughs> They're big operations. Uh -huh. And we do want them to do more inpatient psychiatric yeah. treatment as well. All right, so I'm gonna put a link in my bio, as the kids say, but it'll also be um, below this text on my Facebook. But um, please read it, there's a, there's a short version and there's a long version, but this is the big issue. You take the subway, sure, we can have more police, but we need treatment for these people who are just living on the trains. You know, it's, it, it's, they, shouldn't, they should have access to services that addresses their condition. This is the greatest, in, it's the greatest city in the world, right? Right. Hello, where are we? So thank you, Mr. Levine.